this is the best example core division multiple axis is a best example of multiple axis where several transmitters can send information simultaneously over single communication channel we can use a single channel and we can send multiple signals okay or which contain some uh, multiple information using this core division uh, multiple axis okay so this the specialty of this cdma core division multiple axis is to allow several users to share a band of frequency okay so the benefit of this cdma is any user can access the satellite who has subscribed to that satellite or it can be an user or a service provider with respect to the any kind of telecommunication service the user can have an access to the satellite 24 by 7 and uh, they also have the whole channel or a bandwidth availability throughout that particular 24 by 7 but if at all this particular satellite gives an access for 25 for 7 with respect to the whole channel or bandwidth there will be a huge problem okay so there will be a wastage of huge bandwidth there will be an uh, multiple users will be logging in at their own interest of time okay at some point of time it might be benefit but later as the users keep on increasing as the satellite have an access by 24 by 7 and the whole channel or the bandwidth availability is there there might be lot of uh, users can be accessing that particular channel and the, there might be lot of bandwidth or the channel will be wasted okay so due to uh, uh, in order to avoid this particular problem okay they have introduced a concept of code division they are giving access to the multiple users who are using that particular channel or a bandwidth who are communicating with the satellite using some code technique okay now let's see what is that code technique see so in order to restrict them and to permit the signal without interference of the users so as i said as they are having 24 by 7 access and they can also use the available bandwidth or the uh, channel okay there might be lot of users using their uh, services at multiple times or more number of users can be uh, using their services at a time due to which there might be uh, many sort of interferences okay Okay, channel lo users, chalaman users use it and well, the common problem in the interferences. Okay, there might be a mixing of signals. Okay, so one signal may be in, uh, interfered into another particular user's signal or some other signal will comes and gets in contact with this. Okay, so in a normal mobile communication, when not now or uh, whenever the there is a climate is not good or there might be a lot of uh, interferences in the signals okay sometimes you might be hearing your own voice repeated in the phone itself okay so whenever you are on a conversation and sometimes some other calls will be connected to your calls nowadays it's not happening but in the previous days at the time of landline phones and all those things uh, the these type of interferences were very much um, used to be exist okay so okal matlad evaro vera call lo untaru manam vera call lo untam but vala matlu sometimes we are able to hear this was a major issue in the landline okay this everything was used to consider as a cross talk okay similarly whenever a single satellite is accessed by many users using a single channel or a bandwidth this kind of interferences may occur okay so in order to avoid and to restrict the users to um have this kind of prog problems they have introduced a uh, concept called code division multiple axis which uses sped spectrum technology okay so it will be spreading the signal in various uh directions such that user several users may access that particular signal with a special coding scheme okay so first thing what you need to remember is cdma okay uh, it supports the sped spectrum technology okay it uses a special coding scheme okay where each and every transmitter okay or else an user will be assigned a code okay that code or that particular sequence is called as pn code okay pn code okay the abbreviation of this particular pn code is you can consider it as 
pseudo noise code okay so whoever the transmitter or an user whoever want to transmit the signal or else the user whoever want to receive the signal each and every transmitter as well as receiver okay will be having their particular code okay suppose you are receiving a signal some from sat some satellite okay so in the air there will be so many signals coming across to your a receiver you are on a phone conversation let us say okay there will be so many signals coming to your receiver end okay now which signal need to match your phone okay with whom you are talking that signal only need to match your phone okay otherwise if some other signals comes and gets in contact with your phone it won't be an uh, desired output right so what happens meer ever to ite communicate chestunaro or మీరు కమ్యూనికేట్ చేసే శాటిలైట్ ఏ పర్పస్ కోసం అయితే కమ్యూనికేట్ చేస్తున్నారో దట్ పర్పస్ నీ టు బి ఫుల్ఫిల్ ఓకే సో ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు అవాయిడ్ దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటర్ఫియరెన్స్ వాట్ దే హ్యావ్ డన్ ఈస్ దే హ్యావ్ అప్లైడ్ సమ్ పిఎన్ కోడ్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ కాలేజ్ పెట్ స్పెక్ట్రమ్ టెక్నాలజీ ఓకే సూడో నాయిస్ కోడ్స్ నౌ సపోజ్ యు ఆర్ టేకింగ్ ఏ యు ఆర్ రిసీవింగ్ ఎ సిగ్నల్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎ శాటిలైట్ లెటర్ సే ఓకే this satellite which is transmitting the signal to us will be having code which matches our code okay now we have sent upanaloka earth station okay we have sent a request to a satellite to gather some information now i am sending a request to the satellite right now the code which i am using it can be called as a security code or a pin okay the code or the a pin or the key which i am using need to match that particular satellite code also okay whenever my code matches with the particular satellite code or the particular other end code okay so then only that satellite will able to receive that particular signal and it assumes that so and so signal has come from so and so particular person or so and so earth station now what happens it gathers the required information okay and it again send uh, sends that particular information to us maname kada request pettindi so as edaithe information gather aindho same information malli manake pampichali vere valaku pampichakoddu okay so what it does the signal which is coming from that satellite will also carry a code which matches us now this code will be coming through along with the signal which is carrying this code will be carried by that particular signal okay now it reaches our uh, receiving end okay now whenever that particular signal reaches from the satellite to our receiver end what happens is again matches or it again checks whether both codes are matching or not okay now maname kada request pampichindi so obviously the code which is returning from the satellite obviously matches the code okay now after the checking the code okay once the code is matched from our receiver end or the transmitting end okay the code will be sent to this particular uh, desired output location okay now all this process each transmitter and receiver has its own pn sequence or a code okay and this whole process can be transmitted using same channel or same bandwidth okay ee code pettadam valla main advantage entante సింగిల్ ఛానల్ లోనే మల్టిపుల్ యూజర్స్ కి వీ కెన్ ప్రొవైడ్ ఓకే వేరియస్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఆర్ వేరియస్ సిగ్నల్స్ ఓకే అండ్ దీస్ సిగ్నల్స్ విల్ బి డిస్ట్రిబ్యూటెడ్ టు దేర్ డెస్టినేషన్స్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దేర్ కోడ్స్ ఓకే నౌ సో ఈచ్ గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ యూజర్స్ విల్ బి హ్యావింగ్ ఎ కోడ్ అండ్ దే విల్ బి ఏబుల్ టు ట్రాన్స్మిట్ ఆర్ రిసీవ్ ద సిగ్నల్ ఓన్లీ వెన్ ద కోడ్ మ్యాచెస్ సింపుల్ గా ఇంకో ఎగ్జాంపుల్ చెప్తా ఓకే నౌ త్రీ పీపుల్ ఆర్ ఆన్ ఎ ఫోన్ కన్వర్జేషన్ okay so okay, three persons unnaru each are having phone conversation from some other people okay now this phone conversation is a wireless technology okay so in a there will be lots of uh, phone information or phone conversation which is happening parallel you put present manam teeskune they need three users three users are using phones okay and these three users are communicating wirelessly to some other people okay now my phone need to receive the signal with whom i am talking only okay signal ekkadi nchustundi some cell sites and these cell sites will be connected with the service providers and these service providers will be connected to some satellite communication systems okay 
so with whom i am talking their signal only need to be uh, coming to my mobile device so what happens suppose three signals are as three persons are talking side by side from uh, with three other people okay individual people okay these three fellows as they are very much nearer to one another okay three signals will be traveling from the air now the signals which is coming each three signals will be received by all the three mobiles prati muggur ki kuda a three signals anedi receive avutadi okay now when this particular signal matches with our signal the signal which is transmitting from that particular antenna and the mobile device which is already on a phone conversation both will be having their sequence code okay what we are calling it as pn sequence or the sped spectrum technology code okay or pseudo noise code okay air lo inchi travel ay vachina signal ki oka code untundi which is a carrier signal okay and mana phone as we are uh, on a conversation our phone receiver signal also will be having a particular sequence code ipudu manaki three signals ostunnai air lo inchi మన ఫోన్ లో మన కన్వర్జేషన్ లో ఉన్న పిఎన్ కోడ్ సీక్వెన్స్ ఏ పర్టికులర్ ఎయిర్ సిగ్నల్ తో అయితే మ్యాచ్ అవుతుందో దెన్ ఓన్లీ యూ కెన్ హియర్ దేర్ వాయిస్ రిమైనింగ్ టూ సిగ్నల్స్ విల్ బి ఆటోమేటిక్లీ డిస్కార్డెడ్ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఇస్ హౌ ఏ కోడ్ డివిజన్ మల్టిపుల్ యాక్సిస్ యూజర్స్ ది స్పెడ్ స్పెక్ట్రమ్ టెక్నాలజీ అండ్ యూజర్స్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ కాల్డ్ ఏ పిఎన్ కోడ్ ఆర్ ద సూడో నాయిస్ కోడ్ అండ్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ యూజర్ విల్ బి అలాటెడ్ ఏ పర్టికులర్ కోడ్ with respect to the transmission and reception of the signal with respect to the satellite okay and this is how code match ayinappudu maatrame communication anedi successful avutundi code match avakapothe transmitting end nunchi gaani receiving end nunchi gaani that communication will not be successful okay and the major advantage of accessing the code is like we can uh, use a single channel for many users okay this is a concept of cdma with respect to uh, satellite communications so cdma is nothing but code division multiple access it will be a, uh, it can give a multiple access to several transmitters to send the information simultaneously using a single channel that is the main advantage okay so a single channel through many users ki uh, uh, transmission reception of the signal can be done and one more benefit entante 24 by 7 access untadi deeniki and uh, and uh, whole channel as well as bandwidth anedi kuda available untadi even though it is a benefit for them okay most of the time in a long process whenever there are more number of users okay there will be huge problem which we are considering it as interference okay to avoid this interference ok signal ki ok signal ki mismatch ayi ok ok degar ki ellalsin signal inko degar ki elipodam okay to avoid this all this kind of cross talks or interference we are coming with the technology or cdma coming with the technology called spread spectrum technology which spreads the signal very much widely to all the users but with one condition it will be having a code each and every signal will be having a code whenever this particular code which we are calling it as pseudo noise code uh, matches with the receiving end then only the signal will be or the communication will be successful okay so and we have taken an example of a mobile communication system here okay this is the basic concept of a uh, cdma okay